Space Jam is a 2021 family comedy film that is directed by Malcolm D. Lee. And it also <laughs> it also stars LeBron James. Artificial intelligence kidnapped the son of fame basketball player LeBron James, who then has to work with Bugs Bunny to win a basketball game. We fucking knew this movie was going to be bad. I mean, the fact that we knew it was going to be bad, and it's not just us, the people who have grown into loving the original Space Jam, but also the millennial culture as well. As we knew this movie was going to be released, and we seen rumors on social media when they was explaining how it was leaked when it, when with Hollywood's information of them developing this film, and... LeBron James was going to be the star of the whole movie and stuff. We was even telling them, us in the new millennial age was telling them, don't do it, leave it alone, because let's be frank, Hollywood has messed up so many re remakes, remasters, redux versions of movies that we have grown and loved in our childhood. There was a couple of them that they fixed, like Carrie, horror movie that I to this day, hated. I didn't like the original Carrie. It was dull, and I, it wasn't scary to me. But the new Carrie with Chloe Grace Moretz, it took everything and fixed it. Same thing with Pet Cemetery. The first one was not as as horrific as I intended to be, but the new one, it was well done in my opinion. <sighs> Hollywood knew that this was going to be a bad idea because. The fact that they make these remakes and these admentations and they want to go on with it. So that so the fact that them the fact that they knew that this was gonna be bad is like eat a dick. <laughs> <laughs> they took our criticisms and they knew that we didn't want this movie to come out because they fucked up they fuck up everything that they touch, but they went along with it. And years later, the movie came out and it's finally here. Now, they didn't, want, they didn't want to give us an early press release. They didn't want to give me an early press release because they knew that people was going to look at the reviews first just to be on the hopes of seeing that, that thinking that this movie is going to be good or being bad is going to be worth the money. So they wanted to come out the same day. They want everybody to watch it all at once. So that was already a red flag for, my, for me. But all I'm going to say is this. If you're watching this review, and you like the Space Jam, if you like this new one, Space Jam Legacy, I'm going to tell you right now, go ahead and hit that dislike button because you're not going to like what I'm going to have to say. <laughs> go ahead, spread your hate because if people know me and they know my reviews, I am very bluntly honest when it comes to my opinion. And I first didn't want to do this review because I know I'd be very offended. I, I like, I offend a lot of people. But I just said fuck it because everything that you do in this modern age is offensive. So here we go. Let's talk about Space Jam and New Legacy. First of all, I'm just going to say it right now. This movie is an F. This movie is an F. It fails on every aspect. The character development, the dialogue, the plot, even the cinematography and the graphics. I was actually pulled in with the graphics of this movie while I was watching the trailer because I knew everything else was not going to be great. I thought that at least the graphics and the cinematography was going to pull me in, but even that was cringeworthy. That, nothing works in this fucking film at all. And I'm going to have to ask LeBron James directly, why the fuck was you in this movie? Look, seriously, what was your point of you being in this film? I'm asking that because the movie is called Space Jam A New Legacy. Space Jam A New Legacy. But there was barely any basketball matches at all. They barely played basketball in the film. All it was mostly focused on was old lady twerking and rap battles. That's essentially what this film is. They want to squeeze as much material of entertainment in this film as possible just so they can just not only appeal to basketball players, 
and cartoon lovers, but at the same time, they want to appeal to rap artists, twerk artists, people that's into TikTok, um, Rick and Morty. They wanted to do all this stuff. They wanted to squeeze all this into a film. Problem was, it wasn't successful. Everything else wasn't successful. And LeBron James, you're a terrible actor. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know if that's how you are in real life, but that's the problem with Hollywood. Hollywood wants to squeeze as many famous people and put them on the screen as much as possible. That's the reason why the Fast and Furious movies is so terrible. They say that it was bad after Paul Walker has passed away, but I think it ended after Tokyo Drift. As soon as Tokyo Drift ended, then it was just going all downhill. You was putting motherfuckers from UFC and wrestling on his, on the movies and stuff. Now I know people in the millennial age is gonna try to jump in and go try to say some, well, you this movie is not about you, it's about us, the generation doesn't even like this movie i was looking at like the critics and people's opinions about this film a lot of people said that this movie was trash they said that the movie <laughs> was like was not worth to watch so i at least the millennial age is aware of how bad this film is and that's the reason why i had to give it the lowest rating possible because if it's going to the aspect scale of just trying to appeal to certain people or to the youth and it still fails in that aspect, then what is this movie for? My question to you, Hollywood, and I can't blame the actors. I, bl I blame LeBron James, of course, because the whole film replicates on him. But Zendaya, Don Cheadle, all the other actors that was in this film, I can't really fault them on this because this is all Hollywood. They was just there to, to get a paycheck. I feel like with Hollywood, and this is Hollywood's main problem, their problem with these films, when they try to make these remake adaptations, what makes these movies so bad, and the reason why we keep comparing it to the original, and this is where we come in, this is why we criticize this film a lot, because when you take a film, when you take a show, when you take anything that we have grown and loved in our childhood, and when you take it out and revive it, we're gonna look at it. We're going, you're gonna bring us back and we're gonna, Look at it with a thick ass microscope. What are you trying to fix? What are you trying to explain? Why did you bring this movie out in the first place? I feel like if you was gonna do Space Jam again, you should have done it when Michael Jordan was still present and was still willing to act. When you wait this long, when you wait this, when you wait so long to the point where a lot of creativity is limited, you putting the franchise at risk. You fucked up so much shit, Hollywood. You fucked up so many movies, so many shows, so many cartoons, so much things that we have grown and loved and y'all just butchering it. You butchered the Looney Tunes, so I already knew that this movie was gonna be bad. You butchered Teen Titans. You butchered, uh, you butchered Scooby-Doo. First of all, I'm a huge Scooby-Doo fan, okay? I'm, I'm a huge Scooby-Doo fan. For those who know me and they see my, um. My my video when I was busy <laughs> showing off my room and stuff, I am a childhood lover of Scooby Doo. I don't even want to bring up the certain shit that they added on Scooby Doo now. My point is, you fucked up this generation of cartoons. Everything that y'all touch, y'all fuck up. So how did Space Jam was gonna be a of, of a grazing period? The movie is the movie sucks. For cartoon lovers, the movie sucks for movie lovers, such as myself, and the movie definitely sucks for basketball lovers. They barely pay the basketball in the hold on, give me a second. I'm trying to I think I broke something. <laughs> Let me fo focus. The movie sucks in all aspects. All I'm saying is when you try to make a remake of a film, and it's Hollywood's fault. It's Hollywood's fault because it's lacking creativity. That's the reason why our favorite actors is the ones from back then. Our favorite comedians is the ones from back then. Like Richard Pryor, 
Bernie Mac, Steve Harvey, Eddie Murphy. The reason I'm saying that is because if you look at the scale of what made movies, what made TV shows, what made comedians legendary, even music, what made them legendary artists, what made them creative is because they was able to say, they was able to express, they was able to explain everything on the screen without the media being offended, without viewers, without people having hate groups, having social justice claims, having all these things to the point where they have to limitate the expectations of them being creative in the first place. Now everything is the same now. When, that, when somebody tries to be creative when it, when, it, when it comes to boosting out their material, there are so much replicazations of that creativity being copied. Like AirPods. There are so many AirPod replicazations. Music. Whenever somebody has a creative tone of how they rap or whenever they express themselves towards music, there are so many comparisons. Same thing with movies. I can't even tell you how many movies try to rip off Get Out. I can't tell you how many movies try to rip off John Wick. I can't tell you how many movies try to rip off certain movies that did a damn good job and then cheap ass imitational producers try to copy and paste their creativity and try to sprinkle their own little Subnosis to the film so people can keep being um so people can be entertained that's why so many movies now when you watch it or when you watch the trailer they keep saying from the people like from the ideas of this from that from the ideas of that from this you know from this movie from that movie there's no creativity at all that's the problem with hollywood and that's the reason why we didn't want these remakes to happen because it's not clever anymore I feel like if you're gonna make a Space Jam movie, it should have it should have been came out like two years after the first one. There are so many problems with this film to the point where they push off certain things that make the movie great and they add in little fucked up agendas onto the film just so we could understand what their premise is. The movie's not even about basketball. Yeah. <laughs> The movie sucks. Flash rhymes, coated with spangles. Yeah, some sounds in the times. Wangles, three dots connect to rectangles. Just like music sounds connect and rambles. You can't